Hello everybody, uh, thanks for being this afternoon. Um, this uh, event was organised by one of the groups from uh, Reignite Democracy Australia, or RDA. <clears throat> you may know that about two years ago, uh, a brave lady called Monica Smith began the organisation called Reignite Democracy Australia. And uh, you may also know that recently she was arrested and charged with incitement. Um, she had bail conditions served up the next day, which were totally outrageous and meant that she would have to dismantle everything she'd worked so hard for in the last two years to build up the RDA organisation. The actual bail conditions were horrendous, they were illegal and they were just outrageous. So the whole purpose of that, of course, was to uh, try to close Monica Smith and the RDA organisation down and, of course, they failed. So thanks to God, what's actually happened is Monica has, has actually raised her profile. She's a stronger person and RDA is the stronger organisation because of it. I think there will be a, I'm not sure I'm speaking out of turn, a political party uh, in relation to Reignite Democracy Australia. <clears throat> so obviously this is tyranny. It is nothing but tyranny when the police are allowed to arrest somebody for trumped up charges put up ridiculous bail conditions just to get people out of the picture. I heard today that there was a guy called that Rushkin guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's, been, he's been arrested. <clears throat> so guys, I've been hearing a lot of people talk today about what can we do, yeah. what about the constitution, what about the law. Do you know what we can do? We can stand up. Yes. We can just not do anything or we can stand up. We can, have, we can complain. We can say, I'm going to lose my job, I'm going to lose my car, I'm going to lose my house. Do you know what? We're at the crossroads now. Everybody has to stand up. If you see somebody on Facebook says, I don't know what to do, I'm going to lose my job, I get on the book and I say, thank you for standing, hold the line. If we don't start holding the line real soon, we won't have the Australia that I know and love. Okay? So please, everybody's putting their hand up. The bottom line is that we've had some expert speakers today and everything they're saying is true. The bottom line is that the government, we do have laws, we do have the constitution. That's a fact. We also now have state governments doing whatever, sorry, the hell they like. Now, we, can, we know this now and we're observing it every day and we're saying, what can we do? What can we do? How could, there's no legal recourse anymore. I'm sorry. The rule of law for the government has fallen. So therefore, the rule of law for us has also fallen. Oh yeah. So one way you can stand up is to join a local group and get uh, get behind it. You know, we could sit here and we could complain and we could say, I can't do this this week, I can't do that that week. Actually, you know what? Stand up. Yeah, yeah. You could join Reignited Democracy Australia, and I'm not just saying that because I'm a member of it, but there are lots of organisations out there that will help you stand up and help stand against this tyranny. Yeah. Tell you what, whether we win or lose this, I'll be so glad I stood up. That's right. okay? <clears throat> it's, e it's easy, may I? Yeah. It's easy to find out where your local Reignited Democracy Australia group is, I go on the website, you can find out whether it is really, really you can start your own, start your own group, at, there's support there for you to do that, okay? So reignite the box of Australia. So just can I say one, th something, one more thing? Australians, let all us rejoice, for we are one and free. Yeah. We've golden soil and wealth for toil. Our land is girt by sea. In history's page, let every stage advance Australia fair. Are you with me? Stand up, please. <laughs>